Hi, this is Peter from All Out Kayak Fishing. Just want to take you through a rundown on my Legend, Legend Trident kayak. It's a five and a half meter kayak, about 35 kgs. Right. Just a walk through so you can see quickly. Okay, so what we have here is my trusty old uh, steering control. I control it with my feet pedals there. To lift it up, I simply pull this rope. This one drops it. Got a small little hatch here, quite small. Live wild is over here. We've got two live wilds on this one. I'll show you the other one. Just for just a couple of small fish, there's the drain plug. So the water is flowing while you're paddling. When you're not paddling, it stands still. Comes with four rod holders. I mounted an extra one. Here's the one hatch, massive hatch, uh, store my fishing stuff there. Got another rod all the year. Over here is where the transducer goes through. It's got a rubber, oh, like a polystyrene uh, set up at the bottom mold. So you just cut it out and you put your Transducer in there, very, very nice. I love that. It's got drain plugs for the feet and by the chair. Nice rubber system here to protect my track from getting scratched when I put a pedal in there. And this blue rope here is my anchoring system. If I'm in the lake or the harbor and I want to anchor down, I just clip my anchor on here. I need to fix that or replace it rather. And I can then just pull it to the back or to the front. I like to keep my anchor behind me, it's just more comfortable for me. And then Something I saw that some guys do, I haven't done it, put it to practice yet, or rather I haven't fallen over yet um, to test it out after I mounted this. So I've got some Velcro straps on this handle and that handle and there. To the elastic cord bungee cord, uh, my pedal is tied to it, so the idea behind it is if I fall and the wave takes my kayak, this rope will absorb the shock, which will hopefully not dislocate my shoulder, and let the wave take the kayak, it will then rip open here by the Velcro strips, it's about three, four, five meters. And the kayak will then move. I'll be holding onto the pa uh, pedal, and that rope should then absorb the pull from the waves, um, so that I don't need to swim 300 meters to get to my kayak again. <laughs> uh, so another thing is you need to let know how to swim with your pedal. Um, those guys that don't tie their pedals onto their kayak when launching. Um, I know there's a lot of people that don't do it because of 
safety and they don't have a setup. Uh, you need to learn how to paddle with or to swim with your paddle. Not very easy, something weird, very strange feeling. Um, I know that's fine. Okay, and my hat. Another knife on here. My battery gets mounted there. It's out now, it's charging. And this pot can also open if you've really got a big fish. So far, it's the only cargo that I know that can do this. If I'm wrong, don't crucify me. <laughs> so, yeah, that's my setup. Very basic. Uh, I'll leave some links below. Please like and follow my page. Stay tuned for some more videos. Cheers.